the last two years, Jake's been driving this Malibu, bracket racing it, at Magnolia, week in and week out, quite a few wins under his belt. And then we introduced Daldy when he got the twin turbos on the C10 to hard tire. Since then, Jacob has been, uh, I mean, busting his butt to get Gramps back together on the road and plans to run hard tire this weekend at Magnolia. He's got in induction solutions on board for the intake, uh, quick performance rear end with new gears, custom ladder bar, TRZ sway bar, QA1 double adjustable front and rear shocks. This thing wiggles. PST custom drive shaft, it's 5 inch aluminum, and gear vendors have all helped him out, including me. I bored out his rotors and made some hub centric rings out of aluminum that we heated up, and they uh, had a press fit that went on to the axle, and everything lined up, you know, his wheels perfectly. So I did what I could to help him. And them boys have been busting their butt, and they're really humble. They deserve this. I'm so excited to see Gramps on nitrous on a hard tire. It's going to be unbelievable. So with all this going on, uh, Daldy has also been putting work in the C10. And him and Jake, while they were waiting on parts, went ahead and put a cage in the C10, which is much needed. Uh, his dad's a lot less worried about him racing now. And uh, they had it mocked up in a couple days, and next thing you know, wham, bam, it's all welded together. Now, he also got rid of the old waste gates and got some new ones because he was having trouble uh, blowing the tires off at the last race at Magnolia, no prep mania. Now, every single converter here at Red Dog's Garage has 501 performance. I will soon follow suit. When I can get my money together and uh, for me I think suspension parts are much needed in the rear end so like I said these guys have really been busting their butt trying to get Gramps ready the C10 is ready to go new waste gates so last Saturday we uh, we got together and went to mags and tested a little bit as you can see Gramps is nitrous equipped and he has hit the streets. So we hit Magnolia last Saturday. Dolly was the first out to make the trip. Wasn't a lot of cars there for test and tune. They had a gambler's race and they ran a dash for cash, which I entered that as well. All this truck did a really, really good burnout. And he he's he was having trouble building too much boost at the line and, and controlling it, so that's why he got the new uh, waste gates. And uh, his boost controller Saturday was at, look, acting up on him a little bit. It wasn't building a lot of boost at the line, as you can see. We're not going to show no times because that's not what we're into. But uh, it wasn't as fast as it could have been. Now I went up there with my hood on and did all motor pass. Now I haven't cut a full tree in at least two months before we went to Florida. Uh, when I tested for War in the Woods, I came down here on the clock and laid down some passes, a personal best. But I have not been on a full tree since then. So I come down and light the beams. And it launched pretty good, a little sluggish. I think it still was hot, it didn't cool down very good, so it ran a slow time. Wasn't my best, uh, personal best. It is what it is, it got pretty hot by the time I laid a pass down. But as you can see, I cut a 505 on a perfect 0.5 tree. So I was 5,000 foot breaking first time on a full tree in two months. And then Jake made his debut. As you can see, everybody was excited to see Gramps out. 
like first time in two years he's been yeah, racing that Malibu and Gramps kind of sat in the corner and uh, she was getting grumpy man I mean she was talking to them boys like get me out so uh, like I said he's been thrashing man I'm so proud of these boys because I'm I'm cool it's so cool I married into a family of drag racers um, they've offered a lot of tips and a lot of help to me if it wasn't for them I wouldn't have a nitrous kit on the charger right now Now, mind you, these are all motor passes for Gramps. He was still waiting on the induction solution as he's like. All steel, baby. Street legal. stuck it ran pretty pretty good pass uh, Jacob was also having trouble with his uh, MSD box which uh, he has as we are speaking he is currently replacing it right now um, Dolly come up to make his second pass again nice burnout uh, build a little bit more boost but uh, you know not as much as he would like to on this second pass as you can see No spin though. Ran a decent pass, so then he, shortly after that, he came up and made a third pass. Definitely wasn't our best day of uh, test and tune. I mean, I had goals. I know Daldy had goals, and I know Jake had goals. Jake was fight, uh, fighting the truck with some wiring issues and it was wanting to overheat at the end of the track. Um, just a wiring issue, like I said, with the MSD. Now this last pass, it left a lot better. He built a little bit more boost, but it was determined later on that his boost controller uh, was acting up on him and I think Daldy replaced his boost controller now. So here comes Gramps on his second pass. I believe this was actually his third pass. I didn't catch his second pass. It was so exciting to see the Suburban back on the track. I mean, this was a bracket truck. He raced a mill box uh, for several years. Uh, Jake's been racing since 2016. It originally had a 454 and now it has a 540 big block. So this thing on nitrous is going to be, it's going to be a sight to see if it don't put it on the bumper. I mean, it's already pulling the front wheels as you can see. It leaves really nice. And like I said, we're not going to show you times because this is top secret information. And this was my third pass. I did a dash for cash, and I was 024 on the light, foot braking on that pass. Um, so I put the bottle in. I got it up to temperature, not quite the temperature I, I uh, wanted to get at. My bottle warmer, it is slow, and I had that bottle sitting in the sun. I think it was like 80, 80, you know, low 80s, but maybe low, maybe about 80 degrees, but it felt like 90 out there. So Matt's youngest son, Casey, lined me up, got me to do my burnout. This was my third and final pass. Our buddy Lanny was over there to get a picture of me purging, which I shared on my Facebook page. 
Now I took all the weight out of the trunk and as you can see on a one second ramp it didn't work. Not only that I went red. Not the pass I wanted to make. It's spun. It's still broken to the seven spinning. Um, I got to get this figured out. I think my tire pressure was a little high there. I was running about 18 pounds. Um, actually, I think I was running 20 because I was trying to see if I can get more wheel speed, which, you know, I hit a certain mile an hour that was pretty decent, but I, I failed my test. I had one hit of nitrous left in that tank. And I weighed it on the scale at home before I left. And I basically knew, I, you know, I put myself in a racing situation and I spun and I blew it. I think I need to put more weight back in and maybe not leave so aggressive as, as a launch as I do like when I'm running all motor because I need to give that nitrous time to kick in because that's gonna be my best solution. And uh, that and lining up well. I mean, it's gonna be a really a team effort this weekend to get each, each and every guy in the groove, in the stickiest part of the groove and get them lined up correctly. And uh, you know, that's, that's the key to hard tire racing. You don't always have to be the fastest car. As long as you, you have a game plan and you stick to that and you go A to B and you run your number that you set for yourself, you can go rounds, man. You can win a round or two and, and progress is everything. Every year get a little bit faster, get a little bit faster. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, look forward to seeing Jake this weekend at No Prep Mania 7.5 as well as Dalton. In this twin turbo C10, these are both street legal vehicles running hard tire. And I'll be there as well. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again and always.